Previously on ACW TV, Adrian Lynch shocked the wrestling world when he beat Rob Norwood for the ACW heavyweight belt. Thanks to his dastardly pre match attack, plus some help from Alexis and crooked referee Irish Mickey Doyle. Back in Rockwood, the Hammers brothers beat the GQ Centerfold to become the new tag team champions. Tonight, they put the belts on the line in a rematch. And two weeks ago, Sam Haynes' attack on Dino Bambino ended up costing Sergeant Medallion the shot at the TV title. Tonight, the Bronx Brawler wants another shot at the tournament. We're all the way live from the Phoenix Sports Center. Matt Byron, Doug Coffin coming to you in Green Bay on UPN 32 All-Star Championship Wrestling. And Doug, what we're looking at is two men that really put their foot in a couple of weeks ago. Two weeks ago on the debut show of the ACW Wrestling here on UPN 32, Mike Medallion hooked up with Dino Bambino in a first round match over the TV tournament. Sam Hain came down, skewed the miss, tried to hit Dino, caught Medallion, Medallion loses the match, but Tommy Rocks punks out Commissioner Dino Lanza demanding that, that his man be put back in the tournament. Dino on the spot says in two weeks, if you can beat a man of my choosing, you're back in the tournament, and Matt, tonight, Green Bay, Northeast Wisconsin wrestling fans, See a living legend in action. Who is the man that Sergeant Medallion has to be? Well, Tommy Rock pitched the hit, he said. And we're about to find the out. The new commissioner of ACW, Gino Lanza, coming to ringside to make his declaration to see who Sergeant Medallion and uh, his erstwhile manager, Tommy Rocks, will be taking on to get a shot at gold once again for the ACW title tournament. Sergeant Medallion is about to have his night ruined. You know what tonight, right, buddy? I mean, that's what you said. You got a TV title shot, but you have to beat this man. Ladies and gentlemen, I am more than glad to bring to you George, the animal, Steve. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He is in the WWF Hall of Fame. He is a living legend. And he looks hungry, dog. George, the animal, steal in the Phoenix Sports Center. Sergeant Medallion is about to get a lesson. And if he knows what's right for him, he'll give Tommy Rocks a lesson when this thing is over. He's about to get a lesson of Darwinism as this, as the UWG Phoenix Sports is about to become the Animal Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, his manager, Kevin the Super Uper. Okay. Kevin Dorsett, UWGB women's basketball coach, seconding the animal to the ring. Seconding the animal or is he handling the animal? Does he have him trained to do any tricks, Doug? I think George the Animal Steel knows all the tricks. The only one he ever missed was a number of years ago in the pursuit of the lovely Miss Elizabeth. He never quite got that prize. Oh, yes, way back in the day, as the Animal stalked around ringside. Guess what, Doug? Sergeant Medallion came in here looking for a... Oh, oh my away. God, the furniture's going away. The furniture is getting moved right here at ACW. There's in the ring. Three of them. Somebody call Mayflower and tell them the services are not needed tonight. If Sergeant Medallion won a wrestling match, I got news for you, buddy. You're getting nothing of the sort because the animal does not wrestle. This is just the third week of ACW wrestling here on UPN 32. We're in the first round of the television tournament, and now we see the living legend George the Animal Steel. It only gets better week after week here at ACW. That's right, Doug. And you can catch it every week right here at UPM 32, Saturday nights after Met the Dead, and the animal take, sort of striking a pose as if he's a thinker there. What could be running through his mind? Medallion, a little reluctant to get in the ring. Which George Rodney pushes the table over. Him. Medallion's not just a little slow to get in the ring, he's scared, Doug. Who can blame him? This man is one of the most beloved veterans in the history of professional wrestling in the modern area. Oh, there goes the table again. George has been known to eat turnbuckles. Has he ever been known to eat a table? I'm not sure. He's eating in the plane. He's got no salt and vinegar, not even any uh, Broadway special sauce around here. I think he's more likely to snack on Sergeant Medallion. And maybe uh, Tommy Rock is uh, dessert on 
Medallion not knowing what to do with George the Animal Steel. He possibly would. What, are you supposed to have a game plan on him? You're supposed to scout George the Animal Steel? He's crazy. And Medallion exits the ring again. And oh, not only is he crazy, he's hungry. Matty Larno is begging him not to do it. I don't think you're going to get too far telling George the Animal Steel what to do, Matty. Trying to save for the a third set, but look out, Sergeant Medallion. Coming from the blind side. Poor George doesn't have the most uh, prolonged attention span in the world, as you know, guys. Very good down, Talked about it two weeks ago. Mike Medallion has gravity. His ears, everything the fans say, and he's trying to cover his ears right now. Didn't and you've got 300 some pounds of trouble in front of you. Don't worry about the fans out here. And he's got a chop out of his arm. Oh! It's feeding time. The appetizer has been served. It's a pizza bicep from Sergeant Medallion, Doug. George comes over here to this near turnbuckle. Uh -oh. Fans are chanting, eat, eat. I don't think you have to tell George Steele that twice, as Medallion has been now uh, violated, so to speak. George's got to hold him up again. Medallion has no idea what to do. Oh. Fans are excited to see the legend George Steele in action. Keep in George mind, Sergeant exciting. Medallion has an awful lot he's uh, fighting for tonight. He's trying to get a spot back in the TV tournament. I don't even know if he's thinking about the TV tournament right now. He's thinking about surviving against this 320-pound crazy man. George talking to Matty Lardnois. I don't think Lardnois knows what to make out of it either. Well, he's a UWO player graduate. They don't exactly school you in the uh, finer points of animal language. And he's caught in the corner once again. Medallion has no idea where to go or what to do in this. I wonder if George Steele and his decades worth of wrestling has ever put a move on anybody. He just goes in and just takes care of business. Well, there's always the a way first he time. Maybe you see the stars of ACW motivated him. Oh, there we go. There we go. Dinner is served. The notorious BOD got a lens full of turnbuckle. And uh, now that the uh, entree has been served, I think we're looking for a light after dinner snack. And Sergeant Medallion better run away and hope it's not him. Medallion looking for an escape route. Calls Lardnois over and he looks at Tommy Rocks. Like Tommy Rocks is going to be any help against George Yamal Steele. What wisdom could he lend? Oh, he's got the nightstick. It's a nightstick. Tommy Rocks passed him that, that uh, weighted nightstick, that full regulation police equipment there, and he buried it into the midsection of the animal. Now planning that uh, Dr. Brown right into the throat of the animal. Medallion choking out steel. Rocks again, distracts the referee, Matt Lardnois. Finally the count goes on. Now they're double teaming. Rocks Look at Tommy Rock. Rock. Look at Tommy Rock. The refugee from the audiovisual club, as I say so many times, Doug. His weasley little nose into the business of men and uh, apparently doing medallion some good there against the unpredictable animal. ACW action here on UPN 32 with the living legend George the Animal Steel. Right now down in the corner, Sergeant Medallion pounds away. Uh oh, he's going to make a wish. Oh! That was uncalled for. Headbutt below the border. As Matty Lardno is uh, getting into the face of Sergeant Medallion, but there's the kid the nightstick again. Getting two hands with the throat. What's that? Kevin Boyce of chasing Tommy Rocks away. Apparently, uh, forcing some of the rules and regulations of the gym. Uh oh. George is unhappy. The first been unveiled. Big chop to the throat there. All sorts of weight. Count of two, count of three. This is top of the floor, a lot of weight on Medallion. This one's over. George, the animal, Steel. George gives yeah. that rush right to the throat, and he puts down Sergeant Medallion here on UPF 32. And how do you celebrate a victory if you're the animal? 
And if you make your debut in ACW, you have another life to pack, and I think that's what he's going to do right now. The Animal Victorious, hopefully we see this great veteran, this great legend. Hits the road, rocks right behind him, and Jordan is going to follow in pursuit. He's going back to walk the beat, and the animal is looking for a piece. We'll be back with more action right here on All-Star Championship Wrestling on UPN 32. All-Star Championship Wrestling is coming home to the watering hole in Green Bay as we present our next big UPN 32 television taping on Saturday, November 4th with Road to the Gold 2K. In the main event, the first ever ACW television champion will be crowned in a deadly three-way dance. You'll see over 10 big matches in all, featuring all your favorite ACW superstars. It all happens on Saturday night, November 4th at the watering hole in Green Bay. Tickets for this big event are on sale now. Be sure to check out ACW television every Saturday night after Ned the Dead on UPN 32. is a very unwilling participant. The outcome of the first match, the miss was meant for Bambino, but Medallion was the one met with it. it. Makes no difference to Hain. None of you fools will ever know any alliance with Hain. Mason Diggs, the outsider, the one who is not part of ACW, but still, you're unlucky enough to draw Hain. You will meet your final doom in this match. In the end of your wrestling career, you right around the corner. Guys, we gotta be focused tonight. I want the tag team titles back. You understand that? I want the titles back. You get serious. You be serious. Now. <laughs> look at that broad over there. Oh, look. Oh man, that is an awesome Donna Karen. Would you no, check no, no, that no, no, out? No, that's a beer wing. What? No, no, that's a Donna Karen. Hey, There's that's no a way. Beer wing. Okay, that is a Donna. Donna I'm telling you, that's hey, a Donna Karen. You gotta get serious tomorrow. We've got the tag title rematch tonight. I don't want some fighting like this. We always get like this whenever we go out. We started it. You're watching it on TV. Now go check it out on the web at acwprowrestling.com. Get everything you need to satisfy your daily craving for ACW. Get the latest news on upcoming events. Learn all about the stars of ACW with profiles, pictures, and columns. And interact with actual wrestlers and other fans on the message board and in the chat room. That's ACWProWrestling.com. Log on today and take cover. All-Star Championship Wrestling is coming home to the watering hole in Green Bay as we present our next big UPN 32 television taping on Saturday, November 4th with Throw to the Gold 2K. In the main event, the first ever ACW television champion will be crowned in a deadly three-way dance. You'll see over 10 big matches in all, featuring all your favorite ACW superstars. It all happens on Saturday night, November 4th, at the Watering Hole in Green Bay. Tickets for this big event are on sale now. Be sure to check out ACW television every Saturday night after Ned the Dead on UPN 32. Abba's Dancing Queen. They are the G2 Seraphos, the former ACW Tag Team Champions, along with their manager, the erstwhile and baldest Angelo Stefano. It's for the gold right here on ACW on UPN 32 on Saturday night. Matt Byron along with Doug Coughlin calling this one for you. And it was in Rockford just a few short weeks ago, Doug, that the Hammer Brothers, Eric and Brad, the Straight Edge Brothers, took the gold away from these gentlemen, and they're mandated a rematch, and we're going to see what they can do right here. I'll tell you what, the G2 center will come down with that moron, Angelo Stefano. What Stefano did a couple of weeks ago in that mixed tag match to the lovely Kendra, and then when he punched out the Phoenix Bird at the UWGB maximum detention, this is a college kid in a suit. This Stefano kid has any pride in himself? What a and sweat hog. And look at him go. Look at all of them go. They're the GQ Center folks. I'll tell you what, I want to see how these guys can handle adversity. They're without their gold now. They've got the chance to get it back. They don't have a cute Mike Mercury boy to fall back on tonight. They've got to go two on two against the champ and see if they're man enough to take their gold back. 
champions, the Hammers, against the GQ centerfolds, the former champions. And I'll tell you what, Doug, for their image, for their uh, flamboyance, I guess if that's the proper term, the GQ centerfolds have made a lot of noise in the wrestling profession in a very short time. They've had a lot of people take notice of them. And they've got their flamboyance, they've got their, I guess you could call it charisma going, and, it, and people take notice. But tonight is the night when they have to put all that aside and they have to wrestle to get their tag team titles back. And we're going to see if the love machine and the tasty one can do it. Long time wants everybody to be quiet so he can wrestle. I don't think you need to be uh, that showing up Brad like yeah, that. Brad just think takes so care of business. Oh, consolation. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's Matt Longtime in the aqua blue and uh, Travis Lee in, I guess we could call it the fuchsia. And in his nice shirt at ringside is Angelo Stefano. Indeed, with his nice head in my hand. Once again, Matt Longtime tossed across the ring. That doesn't happen to him in the dance floor of the Studio 54. But right now he's going to get tossed around in a whole different way by a very vicious little wrestler. I say little, and I say that in the utmost comp complimentary form. This kid is small but deadly. Straight edge Eric Hammers. Not only a wrestler, a hell of an accomplished musician. He's a bass player and lead vocalist for the band Manurism. Oh! And powerful, too! Travis Lee comes in now. He's going to try to get a piece of the pit bull. That is Eric Hammers. He has a hammer lock on him. The tasty one. Oh, rake of the eye. What stunning technical expert. He sends a drop kick. Ha! Eric Hammers responding to the cheap tactic with beautiful wrestling maneuver. And now both center folks going into it. Take them in. Big clothesline. Oh! 
The Hammer Brothers are befuddling everybody tonight, especially the GQ center folks, Doug. And he's got Travis up in the air. Travis is going Tasty for a treat. ride. Throws him on low. Oh. It's the photo. Catch him if you can. The GQ center folds have just been a uh, sandwich. They're not in the way they're probably used to at the Roxbury. On the outside of the ring here at the Phoenix Sports Center. Keep your eye on air cameras, though. We've seen this before. Beautiful oh. catch up. Oh. He takes off three of them out. Moonsault. Off the top rope. From the mosh pits all over America to the Phoenix Sports Center, Eric Hammer gets the job done by any means necessary to excite that crowd and do some damage. Hammer tags in Big Brother Brad. Big as in big. Big as in enormous. Look out, centerfold. In opposite corners now. Here comes Casey Travis Lee. They're familiar in this position, are they not? You come straight at go. You should be so lucky, centerfold. One down. You think Tasty Travis has a launching pad of a sort? That long time. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I can stop next time. I'm the butter midnight. <laughs> Tasty Travis reverses. Goes there again. Up he goes. Oh, he launched him. Tasty Travis Lee after that little uh, Banaja GQ. Getting back on track here. Making the tag for that long time here. And they're going to utilize those quick tags. That's comforting to know. I'm sure Angelo's going to be excited about that of all. In, misses the clothesline. Matt Longtime, beautiful Savage kick. Well played. The GQ center ball has some skill. Matt, they certainly do. They're kind of hidden on the zone. That flamboyant. I keep calling it flamboyant. I want to call it something completely different. Look out for Eric Hammers. Oh, up he goes. Beautiful moonsault. Well executed. Well placed. Count of two. But these are skilled wrestlers who just need focus and. Tonight's the night in particular that they need focus. That long time, I thought he was going for the moonsault too, but no, he's just being himself. Eric Hammers has been in the ring a long time. Brad waiting on the side to get in. Look out for Matt long time. Sinks in that front chancery now. Eric Hammers. Not trying to fight out of it, but he's trying to fight up. Trying to get momentum here from the UWTV crowd. Tried to get to the corner there. He got it, but uh, Pee Wee was out for a place. And now you're going to see this center pose at their best or their worst, depending on who you believe. And getting help from Stefano to Matt three on one on straight edge Eric Hammers. The last three and one the GQs and Angel were involved in uh, led to some unpleasantness. Let's call it that. Abdominal stretch there, a little help from Matt Longtime. Casey Travis Lee sinks it in on straight edge Eric Hammers. Eric Hammers will not quit, though. Still getting help. Matt Longtime helping the leverage. Tasty Travis Lee. Casey Travis Lee is making his mark all over the wrestling world. He's been out in California. He's been in the Southwest. Oh, all over the country making his name as a singles wrestler. But here in ACW and across the Midwest, he's a GQ center hole and proud of it. What the hell? A big up line salt. Oh, he overshot him by a mile. Casey Travis tried to get cute there. And he paid for it dearly. <laughs> Made Matt Longtime coming Look in. Look at Eric Hammers, ball backwards. And the big bro the little brother is in, and he's throwing some big lariats, Doug. Yeah, Up he one. goes, Tasty Travis. Tasty Travis in a precarious position. Oh! Matt Longtime just got out of the way of that one, Doug. Longtime reverses. Reverses the Irish whip. Look out, Hammers. Hammers! Hammers award DDT! That's how they won it, and they've won it again. You've got problems. You're going to Mercury Rockin' Randy. 
you down to the ring. What the hell? The Hammers have won. Rock and Randy, and I believe I see superstar Mike Mercury in the outside of the ring, Doug. They're Got working on Brad. There go, Felix. Okay. Oh. The Hammers, my God, just waylaid both men on the outside. He's got a train wreck. Electric Eric Hello. is in. That's not a referee, Angelo. Electric Eric Freedom. Eric Freedom, DDT. You remember what happened last week when they took out the lovely Kendra? I sure do. And Eric Freedom, they've got a table. We've got Angelo Stefano being rolled on the outside. Get a shot of this. Electric Eric rolls him out of the ring. Eric Freedom and the uh, Phoenix mascot apparently in cahoots here. Eric Freedom is up on the apron. Angelo Sabato prone below. Electric Eric was taken out of action at the end of his match last week. When he was out of action, they took Kendra. Look out! There's a big ah. smash through the table! Angelo Sabato is decimated by Eric Freedom. Finally, payback comes from the hippie on the ball with Angelo Sabato. And the UWTV crowd here at the Phoenix Sports Center is digging it the most. Freedom rolls him in the ring. And oh! Here we go! The lovely Kendra, wherever she is right now, she's got to be smiling big time. And finally, revenge is being enacted on Angelo Stefano. And you know this has got to feel good for Freedom, too. An eye for an eye and a haircut for a haircut. And there goes the ponytail all over the sports center. you got to love it, Doug. And where are the GQ centerfold? They turned tail and ran left Stefano in the ring alone. And Eric Freedom, one more time. Oh! Stutter! Hippie cutter! Gets the pin on Angelo Stefano. Stefano gets a haircut from Electric Eric Rito. This has not been a good night as there ever has been one to be Angelo Stefano. Eric Rito and the UWTV fighting Phoenix celebrating right here in the Phoenix Sports Center. We've got more great action coming to you next week right here on UPN 32 Saturday Night Action. Matt Byron, Doug Kaufman. We'll see you next week on ACW. Next week on ACW TV, the television tournament continues as God's gift to women Kevin Kruger squares off against Reedsville's Hillbilly Hills. Mike Mercury and Rockin' Randy explain why they went after the Hammer Brothers in tonight's main event, while the superstar tries to go for the TV gold against his former tag team partner, Kamikaze Ken.